Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here at Hidden Heights Farm. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button now. We're gonna have some exciting stuff going on here in the future. We got baby goats already being born, and today we're going to go rescue a huge log from uh, one of Rachel's cousins. He just had a huge, I believe it's a hickory tree cut down, and uh, he messaged us. He knew we had the sawmill up here from uh, Keeping It Dutch. He watches all our videos, so he's like, hey, do you and Dutch want this huge log? Um, I'll save it for you guys. I'll have the tra tree trimmer guys cut it into whatever uh, sections long you want. And I told him, yeah, that'd be awesome if you could do tw 12 or 10 feet. He sent me some pictures, and this log is huge. And the reason I'm doing this intro in the house is today we're having like substantial, like super powerful winds, like 40 to 50 miles per hour. So the mic wouldn't probably do any justice outside. So I'm going to do this little intro in my office. And then here in a minute, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go load the tractor, load my chainsaw, and uh, get the dump truck ready. We're going to put the dump truck in service today. We're going to take it down there. I'm going to take the sides off. That way we can just have a flatbed. Um, we'll put the logs on there. Hopefully, this Kubota M59 will do its job, and uh, we'll be able to lift this log. I'm telling you, this thing is huge. Uh, I've only seen pictures so far, so I don't know how big it is or how much it weighs, but supposedly there's two logs, and one is like 12 foot, and I think the other is 10, but the stump piece is the 12 foot log, and this thing looks massive, so I'm hoping that the Kubota has enough horsepower to get that thing lifted up and put in the truck. So I'm going to quit talking, I'm going to get uh, rounded up, I'm going to go get all my stuff ready, and then we'll head to town and go pick up this log and uh, bring it back home and might put a tape on it and see how big this thing actually is. I, I probably won't be talking much throughout the video. I'm going to set the GoPro up and kind of film this process a little bit. And then uh, after we get back, and I don't know if we'll unload it or what we'll do, if we even make it home with it. And then I'll try to, to uh, end this video and I'll talk a little more about the whole process. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much.
gonna be able to get out though.
I saw it when I ran Was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home Well, I scratched in the dirt for a while I gained all that I knew for a price In the end, what I found was nowhere near as nice no matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home, I'm coming home, leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. Though I fought with my claws and teeth. So I elbowed my way to a seat There'd be no kind of peace like you beside me No matter the rain, no matter the storm I'm coming home, I'm coming home Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light Okay, bear with me. Like I said, it is super windy out here and I'll try to talk a little louder. I know the mic's gonna pick up a lot of this, but guys, we made it home with this log and I don't know if this video does justice, but this thing is huge. I'm guessing it weighs about 3,000 pounds. It could be a little more, but I'm gonna put this tape measure on it and take a look. This is hickory wood. And uh, I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cut this thing up in some uh, two inch or inch and a quarter or inch and a half slabs. I'll talk a little bit about more about that here in a minute but let me measure it real quick for you guys <clears throat> so this is actually i think this is a skinnier end uh the other end it actually looks a little wider but let's go ahead and measure it across right at two foot across that way and then here about 28 inches that is insane this is going to make a lot of lumber um, I don't think I'm gonna make dimensional lumber. I think I'm just gonna slab it and then uh, maybe we can make some furniture or something So I'm gonna get this thing unloaded with the Kubota real quick
Okay, so I'm well over the rated weight capacity that I'm supposed to be picking up with this tractor, but luckily I'm not lifting it up high or anything. I'm just gonna take it right over here and set it on the ground. But for size comparison, look how big this is. I got a big head, but this is huge, guys. All right guys, we got this thing unloaded. And you can see there is a part of an oak log right there. And uh, look how much bigger this hickory is. This thing is massive. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and put the tractor up. I'll finish this video inside the house so hopefully you guys can hear me a little better. But I cannot wait to get this thing on the sawmill, so stay tuned. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss this. Let me put this tractor up and uh, we'll talk a little bit in the house. So what do you guys think about that? We actually got this huge hickory log here. It is ready to put on the sawmill. It's, a little, it's way too windy today to try to put it on there and uh, make some slabs out of it, but I cannot wait to actually uh, get this log put on the sawmill and uh, start cutting some slabs. I might actually wait for Dutch to come over and help me cut some slabs off of it, but I've got some pretty good ideas what I wanna do. Uh, you guys will have to stay tuned for that. I'm not going to make dimensional lumber out of it. Um, yeah, I want to I want to try to make it to where I can make some uh, furniture and some other stuff like that in the future. So I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see. My mind changes all the time, so I don't know. Uh, hopefully this thing will fit on the sawmill and the blade and everything will work just fine. It does have a couple of limb uh, limbs on it still kind of going out that I might have to take the old steel chainsaw and cut it more flush but i don't know we'll see uh, this norwood hd 36 is supposed to be able to cut up to 36 inch logs it's going to be a true test because this thing's what was it like 28 30 inches something like that so uh i'm pumped this is a uh, going to be a true test um i think once we get it on there i don't know if we're going to be able to turn it or not so i think what we'll do is just set it on there and start cutting some slabs so hopefully in the next day or two um i don't know we'll just have to see how the how the weather is and everybody's schedule and stuff but hopefully soon in one of the next videos you guys will be able to see me uh cut this thing up on the sawmill and uh, make some awesome uh lumber or wood out of it uh, we actually rescued this tree it was a tree that was hanging over a house and the uh, homeowner which is my uh, wife's cousin his name's randall he, he knew we had the sawmill, he watches our videos, and he's like, hey, do you guys want this tree? If not, it's going to be cut up for firewood. It's hanging over my house, and I don't want it to uh, blow over in one of these Oklahoma storms and uh, kill somebody or something or, you know, damage his house. So he, he hired a tree company to come in. They pretty much started at the top. They limbed it all, and then uh, he said, what size logs do you want? And I said, 12-footers or 10-footers would be fine. And the tree company actually cut a 12 and a 10 out of it and uh, they laid it over but this thing would have been just firewood and uh so actually now we can make some beautiful lumber out of it i'm i'm super excited to see what this hickory wood looks like once we start cutting the slabs out of it um you know you can look at a tree on the outside it don't look very pretty but once you start cutting into some of this lump or these trees i don't know if you guys remember on some of the older videos we did where we started cutting into some white oak and red oak and then we pour the water on it and the grain just pops and the color comes out everything looks so awesome so uh i'm really i'm ready to do that so i cannot wait i'll i don't really have a good place to store lumber right now uh, the only dry place i have is in my shop so i'm gonna have to clean out some room in my shop so i can store this thing even if we cut them slabs at one inch you're talking about a 12 foot slab by one inch by like 28 or 30 inches wide. It's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be hard to handle, so I don't wanna to have to move this stuff too many times. So anyways guys, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming on this adventure with me today. Um, I'm, this is awesome, I mean, uh, this is what uh, we look forward to is when people have trees that they no longer want, instead of just burning them or pushing them up in a burn pile or just cutting them up for firewood, you can call Dutcher and I and uh, we'll happily come get them. Uh, we got the dump truck, we got the Kubota. 
with the grapple on it so it makes things so much easier just to be able to pull up there with the grapple on the tractor grab hold of these logs load them on the dump truck and uh, bring them home get them on the sawmill and <laughs> make some lumber out of it so thank you guys so much leave a comment down below like this video and we'll see you next time